Does the Bible actually say that Jesus Christ is God? And where do we get this idea that Jesus is divine? Now, before I get into the, the scriptural part of it, what i got to tell you is, is a couple of different things. First off, the, the understanding of the divinity of Jesus grew over time. So even though in the early days of Christianity there was this belief, they really struggled in the early church. What did that mean? This is the problem the Jews had with Jesus. You know, even till today, the Jews are happy to say that Jesus was a prophet. The Muslims will tell you Jesus was a prophet. The problem that Jesus had was this claim of his divinity. <laughs> or as people began to understand his divinity, the Jewish leaders truly believed this was absolutely crazy. This man was claiming to be God and that other people were buying into that. So when you look back at the scriptures and you look back at the issues that Jesus had with the leadership of the, 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 the temple at the time, this is where it, it was. I mean, part of it was that he was kind of a radical and he was, you know, politically shaking things up. But the biggest thing was this whole thing about who is this man? And if you wanted to believe he was the Messiah, they wouldn't have probably murdered him for that. They murdered him because of the first commandment. I am the Lord your God. You shall have no false God. These people are turning Jesus into a false God. The only problem was he wasn't false. They didn't have the faith, the understanding to believe that. So that develops over time. And even in the early church, that develops. And so you can't talk about this without talking about the early heresy, which was called Arianism. And Arianism was, it was always part of what the early Christians struggled with, but this presbyter named Arius, like in the beginning of the second century, really capsulizes it. But it's a belief that Jesus was created independently from God that he was not God, that he was created independent of God. This, my brothers and sisters, is the foundation of Mormonism. That's the foundation of Mormonism, that God physically had sex with Mary, and they created this being called Jesus. And so when you talk to a Mormon and you say, was Jesus the son of God? They say, yes, but he's created separately from God. You see the difference? So that's why whenever you, and I'm not saying that as a put down, when you have a discussion about whether Mormons are Christians, the answer is no, not because they're not good people, and not because they don't have Christ-like values. They do. They have beautiful family values, beautiful people. Their belief system is not in the Trinity. Their belief system is that Jesus was created independently as an independent being by God and Mary. The early church struggled with is how do we come to grips with this? And how do we understand this to be? And if you take a look at things biblically, you know, Paul, and these are approximate dates, you know, the writings of Paul happened somewhere between the year 46 and 68. Mark 
is going to be written someplace around 60 A.D. Matthew is right there about the same time, about 60. Luke is going to be a little later, 65. John is going to be somewhere about 80 or after. Now, if Jesus dies in the year 30 to 33 A.D., you can see our best source for knowing the divinity of Jesus is going to be right here in the Gospel of John. Why? Because the Gospel of John is unlike Matthew, Mark, and Luke, which are called the Synoptic Gospels, but what they try to do is to tell you the life of Jesus. John does not try to tell you the life of Jesus. John tries to tell you the meaning of Jesus. And why is that? Because John's had 50 years to figure it out. It's reflection. And he's got the benefit of knowing all that and coming to grips with understanding the deity of Jesus. Does that all make sense? So, you know, the, the fact is that a lot of times we take the humanity out of all of this and forget that, you know, here you have this guy, in a sense, who plops in the middle of Jerusalem, goes out when he's 30, starts teaching and working miracles. What would we make of him? How would we figure it out? It would take time. It would take understanding. It would take insight. It would take a resurrection to come to grips with all of that. So it's actually, as I say here in the beginning, uh, there's a couple of, of church councils that deal with this, but where it's ultimately put to rest 